Hi, my lovely people. Happy Monday morning, and we are going to report on the weekend madness. First, I wanted to say I have had a lot of requests to do the Jacksons of Atlanta, so uh, just wanted to give an update. I will be dropping a reaction on them today, this evening, and when I say baby, it's good because something in the buttermilk just ain't clean, but I just wanted to let you guys know that on to the foolery we call Peach. So, y'all, really quick, let's go on and hear from last night. I realized, like, I used to be so mad at my mama, like, why you won't spend time with my kids? Like, you always trying to buy them stuff. Like, just spend time with them. Then one day I realized, the bitch ain't keep me. And yes, I called the bitch. I'm Vince. So, my mama said that I'm lying on her. <laughs> this lady said that I am lying on her. And some of y'all even think that I'm lying on her. I'm not lying on this lady. This lady is a narcissist. I okay, so y'all heard it out the horse's mouth. Oh, man. I don't even know where to start with that one. That's a big no-no. That's a big no-no. It's the disrespect that's a big no-no. It's not that... See, Peach has this thing right now that nobody wants to hear her side of the story. No one believes her. Let me, do, let me say this. There are a lot of people who don't tell it, so tell it. If that's your story, then you get out here and tell it. But you don't have to tell it with disrespect, dishonor, and disobedience. And you're showing that you are a disobedient child in the eyes of a lot of people. When you get on here, do you have to be disrespectful when you talk to people? Absolutely not to get your point across. A lot of times over here when I do reactions, baby, I'm not disrespectful. I just say how I feel and I move on about my business because I see what I see and I feel how I feel, right? So if you see how you see and you feel how you feel, then guess what? You can go ahead and say it, but it doesn't have to be disrespectful. It doesn't have to be rude. And you don't have to sit there and come up with all these narratives that people are disliking you and you are the victim. I'm going to say this right here. Abuse is real, okay? Do I find a lot of gaps in her story and a lot of falsery and, and, and things? Yes. I mean, there's a lot of things that she's sitting up here and I think she's egging on, lying about, and things of that nature. And like I tell everybody that dropped down in these comments, if you want to be in a victim mind state, go ahead. I would rather go get me some counseling and some healing like I have done so that you can get on here and say, this is my story, but guess what? I'm a survivor. Now, let's look into this. <laughs> I'm not a what goes in the house kind of girl. Oh, we got a phone call, but let's jump right back on. So these are the things that she's been posting today. I'm not what goes on in the house, stays in the house kind of girl. I've never been that. That's the real reason why they don't like me. First off, we know there's a lot of people that try to sweep things up under rugs and a lot of family that tries to do that. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with uh, speaking your truth. There's nothing wrong with with saying with what you have to say. But have you ever heard of the damn saying? Um, it's not what you say, it's how you say it. All right, on to the next thing. Men can be great daddies and horrible husbands. I realize the only reason I continue to put up with my poor excuse of a husband is because of my childhood. He's somebody that doesn't want me nor love me either. But the crazy part is he won't let me go either. Oh, I hate it here. That's what she says. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Now, that's a big statement. First off, yes, men can be great fathers and terrible husbands and terrible boyfriends and terrible everything else, but be a great father. But that doesn't mean that you have to stick there next to him just because uh, he's your husband. You said it yourself. He's a terrible husband. Is this this is like I said, it's an addiction with these two. Uh-huh. I'm going to tell y'all what I see, and I'm going to tell y'all exactly. Now, I don't listen to everything that Peach says. I'm, I have found a lot of inconsistencies in her story, which I can break down from the get down. Let me tell you, when she got over there talking about this uh, bath water and having to use her mama's bath water, you know, I, I just, I can't find that. Then she said that her mom left her starving at her granny's house. But then, if y'all, and I hope y'all did, watch the video that she unleashed out, you know, from years ago. Didn't she say that her grandmother was her savior? Her grandmother fed her. Her grandmother bathed her. So if your mom dropped you off at your granny's house, how does your granny let you starve too? I, I'm, 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 I'm kind of confused on that one. That one threw me for a complete loop. You praised your granny and said that your granny was the best thing since sliced bread. But then you say that you were over your granny's house and you were starving. So does that mean that your mom and your granny was both doing? See, this is what I'm saying, y'all. This is what I'm saying. I'm going to tell y'all exactly how I see it. This is what happened. Peach has said numerous times in every video that we have watched, right, that her mother does not care for wood. 
And let's call a spade a spade. Let's keep it a buck. Let's do what we got to do over here. I truly believe that this is what has happened. I believe that all this stuff that's coming out on wood, her mother does not, and I'm going to say this, look like a woman that will bite her tongue. Okay? It does not look like at all a woman that will bite her tongue. And I believe all this stuff was going on with wood, and she told her, Ugh, I can't stand him. You know what? He is this. He is that. Why are you with him? I think she got on that um, roller coaster, okay, of things, and it done broke up the family again. As Peach has said, my mom does not like my husband, and she says things that triggers me. So, therefore, the reason that you're really deeply mad at your mom is because she doesn't care for your husband. You also got on here, and I hope y'all watched it, y'all, so y'all could be with me. She also got on here and said, well, my mama said on, and this was on the old video, my mama got on camera and said, when I was trying to tell everybody that my kids was with my husband, she busted me out and said that my kids were in daycare. Oh, so you mad because your mom tells your truth. Yes, mom should be the most loyalest people to their children. I ain't got no problem with that one, okay? But at the end of the day, I believe that she just doesn't care for Wood, and then you get on him painting him into the best light and like he the best husband, and that's why she said something. Now, mama, you wrong. You don't bust out your kids. But I think that's why she said something. That is what made you mad. <laughs> you were mad because she busted you out. Not because you didn't want anybody to know that your kids was in daycare and all this yada yada. You didn't want people to know that while you were over here praising Wood, talking about he's a stay-at-home daddy, making an excuse for why he doesn't work, why he doesn't even... I mean, he doesn't even post on his channel. He don't want to bring in nothing. You were making up an excuse for him, and she was sick of it, and she busted it out. That's the thing. And it made you look like a liar and a fool. So while you sitting over there calling her a liar, then you're a liar. Like you said over there, I mean, I'm just calling a spade a spade. Peach said, if you tell one lie, then you're a liar. I mean, I guess I'm a liar because I tell people stuff all the times or whatever they want to hear. And I, hey, it is what it is. Uh-huh. So a white lie, like she said, a white lie, a little lie, black lie, liar. So it means I guess she's one too. Everybody would be there. Okay. That's my thing. Family is going to be what you make it, boo-boo. Period. Point blank. Now, I was listening to Miss Loretta Brown this morning. Yes, I was. And she was saying that mama used to be a wildcat back in the day. And I could see it. You could see it in the face. Like, you could see it in my face. I used to be a wildcat. I believe mama used to be a wildcat. I believe mama maybe, met, you know, has done some messed up things in her life and maybe wasn't the best parent. But are we all perfect parents? Hell to the no, no, to the no, no, no. That does not mean we deserve uh, disrespect. Now, let me say this. I do believe that Peach is out here. Uh-huh, exaggerating a bit. Now, I don't know if y'all have ever seen uh, Boys in the Hood. Y'all remember Doughboy and Ricky? You remember how Ricky's mama and uh, Doughboy mama used to always love Ricky more than she loved Doughboy? And why did he say on there, uh-huh, keep up with me? Do you know that he used to say, my mama don't like me because we got different daddies? This is what the story peach is saying, and sometimes there is parents that are like that will treat their kids different. And I'm going to say this, shame on all these women for having all these damn baby daddies. I don't care if it's Peach Mama or her. Shame on y'all. Olivia, Jeff, shame on y'all. I mean, oh goodness, but that's a whole nother video. But at the end of the day, uh-huh, I have heard Miss Loretta, she said that uh, Peach's daddy was called Pete the Meat. Uh-huh, not... <laughs> Eat the meat, baby, that he was swinging and dangling the meat all around town. He got kids here. He got kids there. So Pete the Meat was out here doing his thing, breaking hearts and leaving women bitter, okay? But, Peach, don't Wood sound like your father? Have you ever heard that we kind of date men when we have trauma and when we have stress that kind of image the father that we thought we had or once had or whatever the case may be? I've been down that road. Oh, I've been down that road, baby. I've been down that road. And so, since Wood, as Loretta says, oh, I love me some Loretta Brown. Uh-huh. Um, He's out here burning his wood in a lot of fireplaces. Sounds like your daddy, uh-huh. Seems like he's a rolling stone just like your father. He's shot showing you love, but you are taking it out on your mama. Y'all, I can't make this up. Not Pete the meat, baby. Oh, but Peach, I will say this. Therapy is needed, okay? 
Therapy is needed. I have said, oh my goodness, I have listened to so many videos. She did post today that she is trying to look for a therapist. That's what Peach said. That's not what I said. But until then, she's going to continue to get on here and tell her side of the story. She's going to get on here and disrespect her mother. She's going to get on here and drag her family. She's going to get on here and say whatever it is that she wants to say. That's what her community post says, not me. Uh-uh. Storm just reading the words. That's what she says. But honey, uh, that therapist and that conversation... If y'all notice, right, Peach said it yesterday in that old recording that she dropped out, and she said it last night on live. There's a conversation that has been needed to be had, okay? Well, I don't understand. Once you start making, just make it make sense. You are claiming that you are the big bag and you are the big bank over there, baby. If you knew you had all these issues, why didn't you take $100 and go get you a therapist to come to your house? Baby, if you're going to pay $1,000 for somebody to come and braid three kids' hair, honey, your priorities are all jacked up. You could have went over there and got Ayana Van Zandt and paid her ten grand firm and she'd have came there and helped you with the whole damn house. She would have did you better than the Braxtons, okay? You could have went and got some kind of private therapist to come in there, but you would rather because, see, your story is inconsistent. Your story has some holes and loops in it. You are looking to be the victim. If you were that hurt inside a long time ago, baby, you would have had somebody come up in there rather than braid and come up in there and do some healing. Honey, if you don't realize that you are the generational curse that's going to continue to pass down to your children... Uh-huh, you have a daughter, it's rubbing off. You sitting there on screen and you going off on your mama and they hearing you talk about their granny and everything else. Ooh, y'all, it's a generational curse. I don't know if y'all been keeping up with it, but if y'all have, I'm going to see y'all in the comments because I could go on and on and all day about Miss Peach. I'll see y'all below.